Hey, what's up everybody? Today we are working with the LCD screen. This is that one I showed you in the previous video. Um, I got this from Amazon. It's a 240 by 320 LCD. It's using the ILI 9341 driver. And it's pretty cool. Um, but it does have one downside and that is if you're going to use it with an Uno, it is going to take up all your pins and it's not going to leave you any pins to use. So I'm using it on Omega, which gives us this row of pins over here to use. However, um, unless you want to make some modifications to this screen and, you know, perhaps latch onto the power pins over here, which I'm not really interested in doing. I just took these header pins that I really don't use and bent them down a little bit. So make of that what you will. All right, let's plug this guy back in here. Doo -doo -doo. All right, so we got her plugged in there. We've got our power pins hooked to that header and we have our data pin in uh, digital 53 here. Let me turn that upside down so you can see it. Or can you? Yeah, digital 53. Okay, now over here, let's zoom in even further. We have our DHT22 sensor, which has four pins. We have VN data not connected and ground. Now, in order to use this sensor, you do need to use a pull-up resistor between your VN and, and your data. Uh, VN can be 3.3 or 5. In this case, it's 5. So we have a 10K pull-up resistor there. Let me plug that guy back in. So that's our setup. In order to use this screen, which I, you know, I've only been playing with it for about a week. So it's got some neat functions, text rotation. You know, um, if you look at the uh, the text here at the top of the screen that's printed on there, this is your standard rotation. If you uh, set your text rotation to zero, this is what you're gonna get. It's gonna print this way. If you set your text rotation to one, so that your uh, USB is on the right, then you're gonna get it to print this way. Let's look at the code and then we'll come back and we will check it out in action. All right, let's take a look at the code to make this LCD screen work. This is the TFT LCD text and drawing. We're using the DHT22. Let's start with our libraries. We need the Adafruit graphics library since we'll be using some of the graphics functions. And then we need the Adafruit TFT LCD library which is the driver for the screen. And you need to make sure you set this up properly. Check out the header file. Uh, there's a little instruction in there as to whether you're using the shield or the breakout board. And we also need the DHT library. Now these defines here are for setting up the LCD and it just tells you where the command lines are going. Uh, then these two defines are for the DHT. We're using the Mega, and it is on pin 53, and it is a DHT type of 22. Now, these, this block of defines here is simply taking the hexadecimal 16-bit colors and defining them as English words so that you don't have to remember those colors. You can just say blue. Now we're going to create an instance of the Adafruit TFT LCD. We're just going to call it TFT. You can call it whatever you like. And it's using these arguments which we defined above. Then we'll create an instance of DHT called lowercase dht with the arguments for DHT pin and DHT type, which we also defined above. Next, serial begin 9600. I always like to have that so I can do some debugging. And the first thing we're going to do is just reset the screen. Always a good idea. And then we're going to do TFT begin to start the screen. And the argument here is the hex value for your chip. And you should know that 
if you don't just run the graphics test example and open your serial monitor it'll show you what chip you're using all right now for our main loop we are defining an integer variable called f and it equals DHT read temperature with the argument true which gives it to us in Fahrenheit because I like freedom units then an integer variable called H which reads the humidity in relative percentage now the screen is uh, what's the screen size 240 by 320 in the vertical position but we're going to use it as a wide screen so we're going to set the text rotation to 1 and that makes it a wide screen then we're going to fill the screen with black which is our basic clear the screen set the cursor to the upper left set the color to white or whatever you want then we're going to set our text size to 2 and TFT print line temperature bunch of spaces humidity and you'll see how that works to just fill out the screen nicely now we're going to draw two boxes to put our values in and the command is TFT draw round rec with these arguments and you can see over here the arguments are the X position the Y position your width your height the radius of the curve and finally the color so the first box draws the left the second one draws the right now I've just made my text color green to fill in the boxes I'm making this font a little larger to fill the boxes then I'm going to put the cursor in the box with an X position of 40 and a Y position of 85. That puts it in the left box into which we'll TFT print our temperature. Then we're going to move the cursor into the right box with an X position of 230, a Y position of 85, and print the humidity. Then we're going to wait three seconds. Uh, according to the data sheet on the DHT22, you need to wait a minimum of two seconds to get stable readings we're going to give it three all right let's check it out in all right action. everything is set up and ready to roll let's give her a shot power on now first it comes up as zero and bada boom let's zoom in here for a little better look and there you have it now one thing you're going to notice is that the wipe of the screen is kind of slow which means you can actually notice it. I'm not really happy with that, but you know what? For a $15 LCD screen, you're doing pretty good. And what you could simply do if you don't like this is instead of wiping the screen in between your delays, you could just print the current temperature in black and then reprint it in green. And that would probably make things work out a little bit better. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment, share, and thanks to everybody on Reddit for all the love. I'll catch you guys next time.